Well, you know what? Don Shula said it best. If you don't know Don Shula, he's, uh, he's the greatest football coach of all time. They say he's the most winning, winningest football coach of all time. And he said, he said it the best. He said, I, I love this one thing he said that I always loved. He said, look, I got, my priorities is this, is God, family, and football. So he says, on Sunday, if things go bad, I still have God in football. Uh, sorry, God in family. And, you know, to have family and to, you know, a pious person, he has to be a good person. Some people are only about fighting, and I find it's really, really bad. I'll tell you why. Because I've had fighters that their whole life is about fighting. They don't have friends, they don't have family, they sacrificed everything. For, they left their country, they don't talk to nobody. They train in the morning, they sleep in the afternoon, they train at night, they sleep at night. They don't have anything else. But what happens if fighting fails, which you're going to have a failure here and there, it's so psychologically damaging because it's the only thing they have that training now is a, is a chore, it's a stress. It, there's so much pressure. Like on fight night, they're, they're hyperventilating, they're, they're too stressed. They're, it, because they have nothing else to fall back on. They're either going to, that's how we say, don't live and die in the cage. Don't live and die on the mats. When you go to practice, don't live and die. If you get tapped out, it's like you died. And if you, if you, if you win, if you had a good day, it's like you lived. You're the best. You know, it's such a, there's so much on the line. There's so much on the line that your personality is warped. You're, you're, you're agitated. You become un, un, uncoachable. You become unlearnable. You can't learn anymore. You're not teachable anymore. Because for you, it's over. You, you, you've labeled yourself as good or no good. So this type of individual is really risking a lot because he cannot connect with other people. He cannot have a social life. You know, I remember George one time, he, uh, he for Matt Serra, you know, he sacrificed so much for, for, for a camp. Yeah, first fight. He did a, like, he got injured and then the next three weeks it was like, really like, uh, it, was, it was really, I, I can't actually, I can't remember. Was it? No, no, sorry, it was for the Matt Hughes fight. Sorry, for his first Matt Hughes fight. He came up to me, he took me in the locker room, he's like, listen, I gotta tell you something, they're gonna put me with Matt Hughes. Do you think it's possible? I'm like, yeah, let's try this. We, we pulled out all the stops. And after he lost, he told me, you know what, I sacrificed so much, I still lost. He goes, my next camp, I'm just gonna have more, I'm gonna, I'm gonna train really hard, but I'm gonna have a little bit of life. And he's like, does it make a difference, you know, if I change it, just if I have a weekend off, you know, is it gonna, and he did, you know, and he balanced it and he had, he had more, I found that, that training camp, he had more uh, joy, and he was easier to approach, and he was, you know, we had more fun, we connected more as people, and we had more to our lives than just fighting, it was the, the right amount of balance, because even if, he fought better after, because even if it went wrong, there were still so much things to go to in life, and you'll fight better, like, when you have nothing to lose. If you got nothing to lose, you're more dangerous than the guy who everything is on the line. So he, that guy's always going to hesitate. That guy's personality is going to be hard to deal with. That's my opinion on that. You know. Is the guy trainable? And one of the things is can he hang his emotions at the door when he comes in? And that's why it's so important to have a balance in your life because a balanced human being <clears throat> He's, he'll be more playful in the practice room. You know, it, it, if you can approach, look, think, of, think about how many hours you have to spend on the mat to get good. How many hours you have to spend in the boxing gym to be a good boxer? A lot. So if you go there, and every time you go there, it's an ordeal, you're gonna drain your batteries. If you go there and it's fun, the side effect is getting good. You know, I tell people this, people tell me, hey coach, I wanna lose weight, what's the best way? I always ask him this. How did you get fat? Did you say, hey, how am I gonna get fat? And you worked really hard towards getting fat? Or were you just enjoying these delicious meals and fat took care of itself? Getting fat was easy. I did it by accident. I got so fat that I can't even, they have to bring a crane to get me out of the house. You can get that fat, why? Because you were focused on eating and fat took care of itself. I said getting in shape is the same thing. Getting good is the same thing. Focus on training, having fun, and the getting good part takes care of itself. Just how you got fat, you can get really good. Go in there, have fun, play, be open-minded, learn, persistent, and the good will come in. Some people, they, they, they diet for one day, they measure themselves on the scale the next day. They, they, they skip a meal, then they measure, they're always measuring their weight, that drive themselves crazy. Those people, they're gonna hit a wall. Have fun, enjoy it, be open, and getting good will take care of itself.